YouTube, what's up? This is uh, Kevin from Loops here with my uh, weekly tutorial. And uh, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to control your program from a online text document. Sorry about that. That was just uh, my uh, computer changing all the settings because the cam is running. Anyway, so first thing you'll need to do is uh, upload a text document somewhere. And, uh, I need mine commands, and it, it could just be blank for now. But uh, wherever you uh, upload it, you're gonna want to uh, copy the link and just save that copy. The next thing you're gonna want to do is uh, go and uh, create a new project. Um, I had already done it just to test it to make sure I can get everything right. But uh, basically, um, I'll be using a console application, and I'll be uh, control from I'll need mine control from web and um, since we're uh, controlling from the internet, we will need to import system.net and we're going to be multi threading, so we need system.threading. Um, in our main module 1, we will need to declare w, uh, w client as web client and uh, dim uh, cur command as string equals string. Empty and uh, dim uh, add URL as string equals string or equals what we copied sorry for your uh, your web address and uh, dim time out as in thirty two equals fifty five thousand. Uh, next thing we're going to have to do is uh, create a sub or a keep open sub. So I'll do that quickly. Uh, sub keep open and uh, do oops, and uh, console.rebind like we always do. And all the other console apps I've guided you guys through. And then the T as new thread uh, address of uh, keep open like always and uh, t.start. Um, We'll put that at the bottom, and uh, next thing we're going to have to do is uh, create a check sub, which will be where we'll be using our web client to download a string and check the current command. Now we're going to create a try statement, and uh, if something happens wrong, we'll be talking about right line uh, our error. Uh, ex dot message. Anyway, um. Now we're going to create a, another thread for our check. So then C as new thread address of check and uh, C dot start. Um, all right. So now we need to do a loop. So uh, do and we don't need to do a tell or do while. We just need to do loop. So now we're going to call our uh, web client that we declared before. So uh, w client equal new web client. So we're making a, a new web client. We're refreshing it. And then uh, we're going to go above it. So if you're actually just before, give them a temp command as string equal nothing. I'm just going to do uh, a quotation mark for an empty string. And the uh, next thing we have to do is a uh, temp command equals w client dot download string and then our uh, add URL. So what this is doing is when our check statement starts to loop, it's going to uh, create a new variable called temp command, and it's going to be empty with nothing in it. Then we're uh, taking our uh, w client and making it a new web client. Then we're taking our temp command variable, which is a string, and we're making it equal to whatever our uh, web client downloads from our uh, commands.txt. Um, now we have to do, uh, or now we'll do a thread dot sleep timeout. This will be the bottom of the code, and um, we also need a w client dot dispose. And I'll just separate this, that way you guys can see it's a little bit cleaner. So what this is going to do is after we do the check code and for whatever command we want to do, um, 
our uh, wet plant is just going to expose itself and our thread is just going to sleep for a few seconds before checking again to see if the command changed. Um, so now for our command code, we have to do a uh, if temp command is equal to our current command, then do nothing because that would just mean it's repeating itself. Um, if it isn't, so in the else statement, we'll do a dim command uh, cmds uh, parentheses as string equal temp command dot split and that little line thing. Then we'll do a um, per command equals uh, temp command and uh, there. So now we're checking to see if a string we downloaded is the same one as we downloaded before, then do nothing. If it's new, then we're going to create a new uh, array uh, that is equal to our temp command, the string that we just downloaded, split it up by this uh, little line thing. Um, then uh, we make our current command equal to the temp command that we next time we download it, we can check to see if it is the same as what we just did. So next thing we want to do is select case cmds0. Now what this is going to do, it's going to check the first uh, array, or the first string in our array. So if the first string in our array is uh, msg, then we want to do a message box. So we'll do message box, and then our cmds, the second string in our array, and then uh, message box style OK only and then our second string in our array. So what this is gonna do is if uh, or it's gonna find the um, first string in our array and we're gonna message box it as the message box and then our uh, second string in our array is gonna be the title. So uh, when we run this our first before we run this, we're going to go back to our commands.txt and we're going to change it to our command. So we want to message box hello world and uh, we'll make it remote control because we're cool like that. And then we, we save our commands.txt online. Uh, since I'm using Dropbox, that'll automatically refresh and it'll be the same link. But when I push Start. Let me just quickly review the code to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Oh, um, I'm just gonna add a console.write line now checking and uh, console.write line finish checking just so you guys can see when it's checking and when it's done. So now it says now checking and uh, we're going to download it. and it says hello world. Now it's finished checking. Now we're sleeping and uh, now we're checking and we're done checking. See it continuously checks and if I go here and I change from hello world and remote control to hello world you fucking suck and save it. The next time it checks as we come here, now checking, as soon as it comes up next, hello world, and be fucking the side. Um, basically, that's how you can control your app from a uh, online text document. I hope you all learned something, and this is going to help you in the next document tutorial, which will be out this weekend. It'll be on the listener. I'm sorry it took so long, but I told you guys I was busy with rugby and other stuff.